Hey, we ordered 1886. <laughs> <laughs> the order 1886 sells like hotcakes, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the order 1886 <laughs> dominates the sales charts over the weekend. Uh, this is an amazing thing. This is a great thing. Uh, this is a beautiful PlayStation thing. This is PlayStation fans actually going out and supporting the games, which is very important, which is very beautiful, which is which is, is a great thing. A lot of people who say that we're going to turn their backs on, on the order 1886 actually stuck to their word and went out and bought the game. Even though the, the rumors were saying that there was five hours and those sorts of things as that such. That was cool. I, whoever put out the gameplay uh, a couple of days before the game was launched and trying to give it all the negative hype for saying it was five hours, I think it was Sony who did it, but it was a beautiful thing to do that. Negative hype is probably the greatest hype you can get on this planet. Negative hype is going to really bring people's attention towards this game. I think if this game was a multi-plat, people wouldn't give three shits about it. But due to, even even if it was a multi-plat and had the five-hour campaign to it, nobody would care. Nobody would give a shit. There were other games that came out like Evolve and all this other bullshit. Nobody gave a fuck about those games. But the Order 1886 people were locked in, loaded, and ready to go from the Xbox side to the PlayStation side, even to the Nintendo Wii U side. Everybody was talking. It's still trending on Twitter. Still trending on Twitter right now, ladies and gentlemen. They have rated, They have built one of the greatest hypes I've ever seen on any video game of all time. After that will be Persona 5. When that launches, oh my God, it's going to be amazing. But anywho, the Order 1886 went out and did his thing. Uh, by all means, I still don't like the game. Uh, still not my type of game. Still... A game that I'm going to stay very far away from. A game that I will try when it's free, when PlayStation gives out the free games, uh, monthly or whatever, things of that such. Uh, when it comes on there, I'll give it a try. I won't even buy it a discount or use. I, this is not my thing, but if it's free on PlayStation Plus a year from now, by all means, I'm diving in. I'm going to be shooting werewolves, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Zelda, you gotta broaden your horizons. You're, you're stuck on fucking role-playing games all the time. Get tired of you, Zelda, and these fucking role-playing games. Fuck you, man. <laughs> come on, you gotta broaden your fucking horizons. Listen, my horizons are already open. You know, I'm so comfortable now that I don't have to really experiment with bad games. I'm not saying The Order 1886 is a bad game. I just, I, I know what I want when it comes to gaming, when I want to cater my uh you know to my hobby i'm gonna pick the games that i know when i put my money down it's gonna give me a bang for my buck it's gonna be something that i'm going to enjoy you know i'm not you know I, I, i'm trust me i'm i'm good i don't need to experience i don't need my horizons horizons broadened just because to play some mediocre shooting game my my horizons were broadened or whatever <laughs> Uh, a couple of years, flipping back in 1999 when I played Xenogears. That's when my, my horizons has been broadened. The reason why I love JRPGs to this day is because of Xenogears. I'm still trying to find that role-playing game that can come close or even become better than Xenogears. I love Xenogears. So trust me, my horizons have been broadened a long time ago. With the Xeno Gears and the Final Fantasy VII's, the Chrono Crossers, the Parapet Rappers, Siphon Filters, uh, Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3, uh, Dino Crisis 1 and 2, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3. Uh, you know, my, my, I've, I've, like I said, I've played the best, so I don't really need anybody to tell me anything about gaming when I've already played the best of the best. Crash Bandicoot, Twisted Metal, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. Super Mario 3. I played the best of the best. Chrono Trigger. White Knight Chrono. <laughs> but anywho, man. Uh, congratulations to, to Sony. Congratulations to the Order 1886. Um, they're doing big time. They're doing... Uh, this game sells more than Sunset Overdrive. There's a problem. There's a problem. If this game sells more than Sunset Overdrive, there is a problem. Even in Japan, this bad boy is selling. I'll end the video with this. The, the Japan, this motherfucker is in fourth place in Japan. It's uh, number one is God Eater 2. Come on, Sony, can we get that? 
God of Eater 2. I think they're going to announce that at uh, E3. Uh, the Le Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. God Eater 2 again. Okay, the God Eater 2 and the Raging Burst uh, on the PS Vita is number one. Number two is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the 3DS. Number three is God Eater 3 again on the PS4. Like, I, I was telling these uh, he uh, uh, dude bro bitch boys, what, you know, name a game that's fucking got you excited. I'm like, God Eater 2, Persona 5, Yeez, this shit was incredible. Well, look at the sales charts, you dumb motherfuckers. I mean, like, come on, how are people going to tell me about gaming when, you know what I mean, you don't know shit. Number four is the Order 1886. Well, I'm surprised Order 1886 got from a Western game. It got, like, listen, no, Japan, you know, people just, just don't know shit what the fuck they're talking about. Japan doesn't hate Western games. It just doesn't understand the, the, the hype behind first-person shooters. That's all with Japan. Everything from Japan, from JRPGs are stolen from the West with their role-playing games of Dungeons and Dragons and all the other bullshit. You ever see when people role-play, when they get together and the nerds sit in the, in the corner and they roll dice and they put on the gear or Lord of the Rings or that type of shit. It all comes, the, 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 the Japanese stole from that shit, man. Disney, from your favorite anime creator uh, of Studios Ghibli is, is, is off of Disney. That's American. Walt Disney. The Order 1886, you're, you're in, a, in, a, in a fucking Jack the Ripper type timeline fighting werewolves and Dracula and all the other weird shit, man. It's, you know, J Japanese people love that shit. It's not a Western game. This shit isn't Western. What's Western is Call of Duty gay ass games first person shooters that are fucking terrible and you wouldn't like them unless somebody told you to like them or it's it's fucking you know playing call of duty I, I, you know i guess makes you cool or something because your, your kill death ratio is is better than somebody else's would you keep be singing at the same time and putting it into a basketball or creating something but you're, you're busy learning how to prepare yourself for war Anyway, 